I know what you're all waiting for and why all are, like it's very hard to get a 9 a.m. everyone in the conference room. But I highly appreciate you all are here and on the time. I would like to invite Mr. Ratan Tata on the stage. It is my immense pleasure to invite Mr. Murthy and Mashalkar. Please come, sir. So you are seeing all the hard guys, but I would like to invite Ma'am Sudha, most compassionate woman I have seen it. So now I hand over to my tree to take care. <laughs> okay, okay. So Naveen is done for the day. Thank you, Naveen. So, right, 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 right. Well, thank you, thank you. I think we have people here in the audience from all over the world, different countries, different parts of India. I'm particularly thankful to those of you who skipped Davos to be here. So, so because I think instead of just talking, we're going to start doing things here. And, and I'm uh, very encouraged that so many of you want to engage in a dialogue like this. And I'm, I'm particularly thankful to people like Ratan and, and, and uh, Mashelkar and Murthy and Sudha and so on to be with us, to sort of share their experiences because they have a, a global perspective. They see a lot of different things in the world. And, and I think, you know, one of the things about, negative things about entrepreneurship is that a lot of you who are engaged in actually doing things uh, when you start doing things, sometimes you get bogged down. You know, you, you really have to get things working every day and, and your world in some ways shrinks because you're under the pressure of getting something done every day. And so for the next two, three days, we really want you to sort of relax a little bit and open your mind and not think too much about your problems, but really try to get a little bit broader perspective. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, and this is truly a dialogue, so if you really want to uh, encourage and so I think starting this afternoon uh, we're going to really try to introduce everybody to everybody else and, and so that we really have a lot of free time to network and, and, and really get everybody connected. So, so let's, let's maybe uh, first start with uh, uh, the lady Sudha. So Sudha you've been hanging around here for two three days. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what have you seen? Where? In this Pandey Foundation or in Hublicity? Well, are they different? <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, I can see a lot of enthusiasm. And uh, first I thought it is a function of the, their age. But then I realized not only that, there are many people like us who have crossed that age. They are very positive about the future. And I like the participation of the people from the rural area where my heart lies. I always say I belong to the rural area of India, not the city. So I saw a lot of those children from that kind of a background, Tali Kote, Nawalgund, Nargund, you know, such areas where an exposure is so less and they are here and they want to learn something and this learning may change their life. And that's what I felt was very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Sudha. So, Ratan, uh, you, you have a You've seen a lot, and, and you have some ideas on what works in philanthropy and social work, what kind of solutions when we craft them, where do we craft them from. Can you share some of your thoughts on what you have seen work and what does not work? What, what I've seen here? No, globally, anywhere. You know, uh, I, think, well, I think we have a lot of people you know, I, I would like to... to comment on what I've seen here and yes, picked up in, in the last hour or two hours because I'm quite struck by, by that. What I, what I perceive and what I compliment the Deshpande Foundation on is that you have provided dignity to all and with a great deal of humility that, that has crept in. There's no arrogance, there's no evidence of, of a gap between haves and have-nots. And for the first time, I, 
I've come away with the feeling that here's an organization that is really making a difference in a very low-key but a very effective way. I've been very struck by that. I've been struck by the fact that you've given uh, a sense of belonging, a sense of pride, a sense of dignity to communities and people in the communities. To, the little skit we saw of sharing the same chairs with people in agriculture, the farmers. You just don't see enough of that in this country. And I think uh, I would just like to comment that I've really been moved this morning in, in seeing that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much because, you know, it, uh, it means a lot to all of us coming from a person who epitomizes humility. You know, rather than sort of hearing these words from you is just, a, just amazingly uh, inspiring for everybody who works here. I don't know how they can work more because they work at 5 a.m. and work till 11 p.m. Can we just take it up from 4 a.m. to 12 p.m. now? <laughs> Maybe. So, thank you. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Uh, do, do you want to say a few words about what you've seen? Yes. Uh, sitting just right there, I was amazed, Desh, about what has been achieved in such a short time. I always say that uh, you have passion in the belly, your innovation up here, but there has to be compassion in the heart. It is innovation, compassion, and passion that makes things happen finally. And I saw a brilliant conference of innovation, compassion, and passion all across, not just the leadership, everyone that uh, talked or uh, expressed or uh, that we saw. That's the first thing. The second thing is that sandbox as a concept, basically, I think is transformational, if you ask me. And I'm very happy that it is uh, spreading, uh, the spirit is spreading sort of all across. And I think our challenge is going to be, how do we, as Ratan very rightly said, you have done it on a low key, uh, and you have done it on low key. But if we want to transform the word, how we can virally spread it all across. That's the only thought that was coming to me because I can quite clearly see a better word, the difference between the haves and the have nots uh, uh, vanishing and our uh, uh, really making a big, big difference. That's the only thing that is going through my mind at the moment. I loved what I saw. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Murthy, you know, Sudha, Ratan and Mashelkar are giving glowing reviews which is going to make it very hard for I and Jayashree to do the performance reviews in April. <laughs> so tell us where we can improve. Well, I think uh, your ability to make a difference in uh, so many of these areas. Yesterday we saw <laughs> Shikshana, <laughs> which is all about bringing better quality of education to children. We saw Ramji's excellent science center in the morning. Then we saw Akshay Patra. I think what you are doing is truly extraordinary. And all the wonderful things that you people have done. I think uh, one area where perhaps we can do some more work is in creating a body of knowledge on all the wonderful things that have happened here, how you have strategized the whole experiment how you have brought in a sense of effectiveness, efficiency, all in a manner of cooperation and congeniality with the government. So if there could be a book 
on the experiences, the pluses and the challenges of several of these experiments. It will be extremely useful for the people in the country who are in, in charge of developmental activities, one, and second, for other NGOs too. Because I have not seen, that could be my ignorance, but I have not seen any other NGO in India which has had such a strategic view of a region, such an integrated view of the needs of a region. So therefore, if you can bring out a book on, on all your experiences, what has worked, what has not worked, I think it will be wonderful. The second uh, area, I think you, you did try it once, I don't know where you are on, that, on the success path, was I had requested you to see if we can create a, 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 a project management template or a project management platform, a financial systems platform, a people management platform. It doesn't have to be like SAP. I don't mean that kind of huge, humongous, expensive stuff. But if there is a way that, you know, you are working with uh, Prasad Ram of Google and all of that, I don't know where you are on that. But if, if that, ca that could be an extraordinary contribution of Desh Pandey Foundation, not just to India, but I think to the whole world, because other than, you know, I, I mean, Ratan used to be on the board of foundation, Ford Foundation, and then when he finished his term, he was very kind to suggest my name, and I am on the board of Ford Foundation. Uh, other th so therefore, we do see lots of foundations operating in the US. Other than large-scale foundations, even there, there is not much system support, platform support for small foundations. I mean, you have so, I mean, I was in Brazil the other day, there's so many foundations operating in South America, so many in Africa, so many in East Asia. Therefore, if Deshpande Foundation can put on the net a, you know, like, like the Google Docs kind of stuff, a set of platforms for project management, for financial systems, for people management systems on, on uh, the net and provide it. I think it will be an extraordinary contribution because I find that that is a big lacuna certainly in India and at, at the lower level in the US. Thank you, thank you. No, I think, I think those are good points. And also, you know, I think part of the uh, theme for this conference is tipping point. And I see our own organization here at the tipping point where I know you tried to engage a lot of other experts with this organization. Two, three years ago, it was a little too early. You know, we weren't quite ready to absorb a lot of talent. So, so any of you, if you come, come across compassionate talent that's very talented, wants to come and spend some time here, that'll be great. Writing a book, if each of you write one chapter, I'll get the book done. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. This is the ultimate delegation. <laughs> no, 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 the chapter will have more than four, four chapters. So, <laughs> so, so Ratan, uh, you, you see a lot. I mean, every day you're in a different country, uh, what, what should people hear? You know, a lot of these people, it's, it's really bringing a lot of that global <coughs> perspective and knowledge to solve local problems. How should these people be thinking and what can they leverage? 
Um, yesterday, I, I tried to say, or when talking to you, what made the U.S. as successful as it became over the couple of hundred years was a nation built on built on recognition of uh, merit and an equal opportunity. Many developing countries, and India included, have not had that sense of equal opportunity and have not been so open on merit. I think what you are doing is bridging that gap. And I, my dream would be an India of the future where every citizen in India has an equal opportunity based on his merit, his or her merit. Um, and that meritocracy is recognized, rewarded, and pride is taken in achievement or success. I think you have here the foundation of that so that the people here could look to their own merit and an opportunity to succeed, equal to the next person then, not dependent on whom you know, how influential you are, what name you have, what caste you be, what religion you are, where you come from, not at all. Equally for everyone. It's a long ways away for a nation of uh, over a billion people but as a start been made, yes, I think it has. And I think that's what the people here should feel very fortunate in participating in this. That's uh, what I feel. Those, those criteria, they looked at by young people uh, that have an idea that they feel merit can, can, in fact, enable them to fulfill their dream an opportunity is given equal to the next person. I think that's a great, great achievement and a great thing to look forward to.